Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking at the Hero Pack of Ironheart. Ironheart comes with a pre built leadership deck and also an extra modular encounter set. So let's see what cards come in the pack and let's get started. So Ironheart is the latest hero pack to be released for Marvel Champions the card game. Uh, there are a lot of uh, special things that come in this pack, so let's get into it. First off, we go into the hero specific signature cards. Uh, first off, there is a bit of a different way to um, have the hero card. We have actually three copies of the hero card, which have all the same alter ego side, but the hero side is a bit different. But First off, let's read the uh, Alter Ego side. So we have Riri Williams. Uh, Riri has uh, three recovery and genius trait. Begin the game with this card. Set your other identities aside. See insert. So the insert tells you about this uh, uh, upgrading of the hero card more thoroughly. Then uh, we have the Child Prodigy action. Spend a mental resource, place one progress counter on Riri Williams, limit once per round. Then we have Ironheart uh, Hero side. Oh yeah, uh, let's back up a bit. So the hand size is 6 and the hit points is 10. On the Hero side we have Ironheart 1, 4, 2 attack, 3 defense. Champion version 1 traits. Uh, level up action, remove 6 progress counters from Ironheart, ready her and swap her with the version 2 Ironheart. And the hand size is only 4 in this version and the hit points are 10. So uh, we need to get some uh, progress to counters on Ironheart to advance to more advanced levels of uh, or versions of Ironheart. So let's look at those next. Uh, then we have uh, the version 2, so uh, the Alter Ego side changes a bit. Uh, Child Prodigy is now action, spent a mental resource or two resources of any type and place one progress counter on Riri Williams. And the hand size is still 6 and 10 hit points. But on the hero side we have a 2 toward, 2 attack and 3 defense. And we have the aerial trade. Champion trade and version 2. Level up uh, action, remove 6 progress counters from Ironheart, ready her, give her the tough status card and swap her with version 3 Ironheart. So now we also get a tough status card when we level up to version 3. And also the hand size is now 5 and 10 hit points in the version 2. Lastly, we have Ironheart uh, level version 3 so again Riri Williams is 3 recovery genius child prodigy spend one resource of any type place one progress counter of Riri Williams and the hand size is still 6 and 10 on the uh, hit points on the alter ego side but on the hero side we have Ironheart uh, with 3 4 2 attack and 3 defense so the thwart is going up all the time we have still have the aerial trade and champion trade and version 3 Maximum efficiency. Hero action, remove one progress counter from Iron Heart, deal two damage to an enemy. And now the hand side is six and hit points is ten. So uh, the way you want to play uh, Iron Heart is to get those progress counters on her, then um, advance to the higher versions of the suit. So you get the bonuses and now you have a big hand size compared to the level 1, which is only 4, and this is 6, so it is really necessary to upgrade your suits while you are playing. Uh, let's then look at the signature card set. So first off, we have the signature ally Brawn. So Brawn is a 4 cost ally, a 2 toward 3 attack, champion, gamma, and 3 hit points. While Brawn is exhausted, he gains resource, generate a 
mental resource, limit once per phase, and brawn can be committed as a physical resource. So when you have brawn in play, uh, you can generate the mental resource to upgrade the uh, Iron Heart suit when you are in the Alter Ego. So this has a good synergy with the hero card or the Alter Ego side. Next, we have a uh, flyover. You have two copies of this in the deck. So flyover is two cost event. Sword, hero action sword, remove three threat from a scheme and place one progress counter on Iron Heart. Two progress counters instead if this sword removes the last threat from that scheme. So this is the uh, signature threat removal card and this also adds progress tokens which is crucial. Next we have a Photon Beam. There are three copies of this. So Photon Beam is a two cost event. Um, it is the attack traded event, hero action attack, deal four damage to an enemy and place one progress counter on Iron Heart. Two progress counters instead if this attack defeats that enemy. So, and this can be committed as a energy resource. So, Photon Beam is another way to add those progress uh, counters. Next up, we have uh, new and improved. There are two copies of this. So, new and improved is a three cost event with the skill trait. Hero action choose X different options where X is equal to the Iron Hearts version number. There are three different options. First is to search your deck for an Iron Heart card and add it to your hand shuffle. Next is uh, give Iron Heart a tough status card and the last is ready Iron Heart. So the more advanced the suit is, the more you can choose of these. But you can in the lower levels choose those that you really need. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Then we have a Sector Scan. A sector Scan is a 3 cost event, there is only one copy of this. A reduced cost to play Sector Scan by X, where X is equal to Ironheart's version number. So on version 1 it is cost, cost 2 resources, on level 2 1 resource, and it is free on uh, version 3. Uh, hero action until the end of the round, you may look at the top card of the encounter deck at any time. And this can be committed as an um, energy resource. Next up, we have a resource card, which is the Stroke of Genius. There are two of these in the deck. So, Stroke of Genius is a resource. Response after you spend this card, place one progress counter on your identity and draw one card. This can be used as a mental resource. So this is another way to uh, get progress tokens onto the hero card and also uh, get cards from your deck which will cycle your deck more fa uh, fast and accelerate your game. Next up we have uh, our support which is uh, Ronnie Williams. Ronnie Williams is a one cost to four persona, alter ego action, exhaust Ronnie Williams, choose heal two damage from Riri Williams or uh, place one progress counter on Riri Williams and uh, this can be committed as a wild resource. So uh, this is feels like a good card for the uh, synergy of getting either progress counters or getting damage off of Riri. Then we have another support, this is the Tony Stark AI, it is a 2 cost support, Persona. Uh, action, exhaust Tony Stark AI, look at the top 2 cards of your deck, add one, of your add one to your hand and discard the other. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So again, uh, cycling your deck faster, getting the right cards into your hand, so this feels like a really good card and this also is an action, not an alter ego action, so you can use this in a hero mode also. Next up we have uh, Photon Blasters. It is a 2 cost upgrade. There is only one copy of this. Uh, it is a tech and weapon traded upgrade. You get plus 2 hit points, hero action, exhaust Photon Blasters, deal damage to an enemy equal to the Iron Hearts version number, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So again, get your version number up, and this card becomes more powerful. 
last signature card is for, uh, Propulsion Jets. It is a true cost upgrade and tech traded. You get plus two hit points, hero action, exhaust propulsion jets, remove threat from a scheme equal to Ironheart's version number. So um, this can be only used in hero mode as with the photon blasters, but this is a way to remove threat, which feels like a good card as you progress your armor version. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So those were all the signature cards of Ironheart. Next, let's look at the rest of the pre-built uh, leadership deck. First off, we have a new leadership ally, Cloud9. Uh, Cloud9 is a 3-cost ally with 1 board and 1 attack, aerial champion and 3 hit points. Hero action, exhaust Cloud9, choose a player until the end of the phase, each aerial character that player controls gets plus one ward, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, most of the allies in uh, uh, Ironheart have uh, aerial, or some of them have, some don't, so this combos well with Ironheart's advanced suits and also some of the allies, so I think this is a really good porting uh, ally for this deck. Next we have Falcon, and Falcon is a 4 cost ally, 1 for 2 attack aerial champion and 3 hit points. Uh, response after Falcon attacks or towards spend a um, uh, energy resource, ready another champion character you control, and this can be committed as a uh, energy resource. So Falcon lets you uh, use Ironheart more than once a turn and uh, also other champion characters so this can be added to other champion decks to utilize the ability really well. Seems like a good champion tribe card. Next up we have Patriot. Uh, Patriot is a 3 cost ally, 2 toward and 1 attack and takes 2 consequential damage when uh, thwarting. It is champion traded and also for hit points. Hero response after Patriot enters play. Choose a champion character. That character gets plus one to each of its basic powers until the end of the round. So a really versatile way to boost your other uh, allies or your hero if they have the champion traits. And Patriot can be committed as a physical resource. Next we have... Uh, go, go all out. There are of course uh, a full set of three copies of this in the deck. Uh, go all out is a true cost event. It is an attack traded event. Requirement one energy resource. While paying for this card, spend the listed resources. Hero action attack. Exhaust your hero. Deal damage to an enemy equal to the total of your heroes. Toward attack and defend values. So a pretty powerful card if you get your. Uh, heroes stats boosted up by some means. Uh, I'm immediately thinking about the Symbiote suit which boosts all of your stats up. So this becomes a really powerful two cost event with that combo. Uh, next up we have uh, Push Ahead and there are a full of a set of three copies of this. Push Ahead is a three cost event uh, toward Requirement, mental resource, so you need to have a mental resource to play this. Uh, hero action for exhaust your hero, remove threat from a scheme equal to the total of your hero's sword uh, attack and defend values. So this is uh, the sword version of the go or out card, so, and this can be committed as a energy resource. So looking like a really strong uh, card if you get your stats boosted up. Uh, then we have a reprint of Moral Boost, three copies of that, so not going into that, but it synergizes with boosting your uh, hero's stats and using those uh, previous two cards for more efficiently. Then we have a support or R&D facility. It is a three cost support location shield Requirement two mental resources uh, uses three uh, research counters, and there is a full 
setup free of these, of course. Hero Action exhausts RNA facility and remove one search counter from it. Choose a friendly character in play. That character gets plus one forward and plus one attack until the end of the phase. So, another way to boost your stats up. So, looks like a synergy of boosting your stats up and using those strong events and this support in combination. Then we have two copies of the power of leadership. It is a reprint, so not talking about that more here. Then we have a bunch of basic cards. We have a reprint of Agent 13. I won't go into detail about that because that already came out in the Sinister Motives uh, box. Then we have a new ally, Snow Guard. It is a four cost ally with zero ward and zero attack. Champion traded and three hit points. Response after Snow Guard enters play plays up to three shift counters here. While the shift counters here are equal to X, she gets uh, one uh, shift counter uh, plus three attack and her attack gain overkill. Uh, two shift counters plus three toward and gains the aerial trade and three shift counters plus one hit points and gains the retaliate one. So, um, I'm just figuring out, so after Snogar and there's play, place up to 3 shift counter hill, while the shift counters here are equal to X. So, do you lose those shift counters when she activates? I'm not entirely sure. Probably if you are using her, you have to use a counter. But it doesn't say anything like that. Well, uh, I have to figure that out. But for now, seems like a decent, strong ally. A bit costly, but the ability is pretty strong. Next, we have uh, Vivian. Vivian is a two cost ally with two toward and one attack. Aerial, Android champion traded, and two hit points. Hero. Response. After Vivian enters play, choose an, uh, choose an attachment, non-elite minion or non-permanent side scheme. Until the end of the round, read that card's printed text box as if it were blank, except for traits. And uh, Vivian can be committed as a mental resource. So, we already saw Vivian in the vision pack, but that was the signature ally. Here, uh, Vivian uh, will let you ignore some uh, annoying uh, minions or side schemes. So, for example, if we have the um, side scheme with the crisis icon on it, and you can't thwart the main scheme, you can play Vivian and ignore that and thwart the main scheme, for example. Looks like a decent ally. Also, Vivian takes two uh, consequential damage when thwarting. So Maybe not thwart on the first activation. Then we have a go for champions. Uh, not sure if we already saw this earlier, but here goes. Uh, go for champions it, uh, is a three cons event. There's only one copy of this in the deck. Max one per deck. Play only if your identity has the champion trait. Hero action. Each champion character in play cannot take damage until the end of the round. And this can be committed as a wild resource. So, when you have a lo load of champions in play, you can play this and they won't take uh, consequential damage. Or when they are defending, they don't take any damage. So, they basically all have tough or something like that. So, you can block attacks with them and not take any damage. Then we have a reprint of Heli Carrier. And the last card is. Uh, Ingenuity, and there are three copies of this upgrade. So it is a two cost upgrade skill traded. Play only if your identity has a genius trait, max one per player. Resource exhaust and ingenuity generate a mental resource. So I think Bruce Banner also, or the Hulk, also has genius on the alter ego side. So you can play one of these to get an extra resource and make Hulk better, <laughs> but uh, we, I think we still need a bit more uh, 
upgrades for Hulk to make Hulk playable again. Okay, so that was the pre-built deck altogether. Uh, next, let's look at the um, other aspect cards that come in the deck. First off, we have the aggression card Bombshell. Uh, bombshell is an ally and costs 4, 2 thwart and 3 attack and takes 2 consequential damage when thwarting. It is champion traded and 3 hit points, play only if your identity has the champion trait. Uh, divide damage from bombshell at, um, Bombshell's attack among each enemy as evenly as possible. So even though uh, Bombshell has a 3 attack, you have to AoE the damage, so you can't just burst one uh, minion down. But of course, if there is only the villain in play, all the damage goes to the villain, for example. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Seems like an interesting aggression ally. Next up, we have uh, Justice Ally Wasp. Uh, so Wasp is a two cost ally with two thwart and one attack and takes two consequential damage when thwarting. Champion traded with three hit points. Play only if your identity has the champion trait. Wasp ignores guard, keyword, patrol, keyword and crisis icon. And Wasp can be committed as a physical resource. So a pretty good uh, justice ally for ignoring a bunch of annoying keywords that may be in, in play. So, and it's cheap, so really interested in paying was soon. Next, we have the protection ally, Pinpoint. Uh, Pinpoint is a two cost ally uh, with one sword and two attack and takes two constitutional damage when attacking. Champion, two hit points. Play only if your identity has the champion trait. Hero interrupt. When a player card would be placed into a discard pile from play, exhaust pinpoint, shuffle that card into its owner's deck instead. So uh, I think pinpoint will be played in uh, onto the table and you will use the hero interrupt and not uh, attack or thwart with uh, pinpoint that much. So those were all the new uh, player cards in the hero pack. Next up. We look at the obligation nemesis sets. So obligation is a minor set, uh, a minor setback. Uh, give to the Riri Williams player. Remove one progress counter from the, your identity. Then discard this card. If no progress counters was removed, this way deal one, uh, deal yourself one face down encounter card. Then shuffle this card into the encounter deck, and this has two boost icons. So this uh, slows up your progress counter generation and uh, if you don't have any uh, you will get an extra encounter card and this gets shuffled into the counter deck which means that it will uh, reoccur more often. So an, an, an annoying obligation for sure. Next uh, we look at the Iron Heart Nemesis set. So first off the uh, side scheme is uh, ruled by force. Uh, it is a side scheme. While Lucia von Bard does is in play, this card gains a hazard icon, so you get an extra enough card. While Lucius von Bard does is not in play, this card gains an acceleration icon. So that is nasty, and it comes into play with four threat on it and two boost icons. So uh, next up, we'll look at the Nemesis Minion, which was hinted in that side scheme, so Lucia von Bardas is a minion, two scheme, one attack, four hit points, criminal, cyber, elite. While Lucia von Bardas has a tough status card, she gets plus one scheme and plus one attack. And after the villain phase ends, give Lucia von Bardas a tough status card. So, you really want to get rid of uh, Lucia. Uh, as fast as possible, so she doesn't linger on with the tough status cards and be more hard to remove later. Then uh, we have uh, Cyborg Tech. It is an attachment uh, with plus one attack. Attached to the minion with the most traits. If you cannot discard, get search. 
Dutch minion gets plus 3 hit points and gains retaliate 1. And uh, it has a boost effect, so boost, deal this card to yourself as a face down on the card. Then we have two copies of uh, Political Retribution. So Political Retribution is a treachery. When revealed, if Lucia von Bardas is in play, she schemes. If rule by force is in play, place three threat on it. If neither is in play, this card gets surge, and this has one boost icon. So, an interesting treachery. We'll do a lot of things if the requirements for those are met. And that is all of the uh, player cards and the Nemesis side scheme and obligation that come in Ironheart bot. As with uh, Nova, we also get an extra encounter set in this pack. So we have the uh, Zuck side or encounter set, and it has the first card is a feedback loop, which is a side scheme. When revealed, each player must place threats here equal to the total number of uh, energy resources in their hand and or cards they control. And this has a boost icon or uh, acceleration token icon and two threats when it comes into play and three uh, boost icons. So you might have a bunch of energy resources in hand or in play so this might get a lot of uh, threat on it and will be hard to remove then. Looks interesting. Next we have the minion of this encounter set, so Zack minion uh, with two hit, uh, two scheme and two attack and four hit points. Zack is a criminal. Zack gets plus one attack and plus one hit points, where X is equal to the total number of uh, energy resources on cards that engage player controls, and this has a boost ability. So boost if you have at least two energy resources in your hand, put Zack into play, engage with you. So plays a lot with uh, energy resources. Then we have Haywire. Hey, there are two copies of this in the encounter set. So Haywire, uh, Haywire is an attachment attached to your identity. Treat the printed resource of each card in your hand as if it were uh, energy resource, so this is a really nasty one uh, combined with the other cards in the set. Hero action choose to either discard a card to control with a printed uh, energy resource or take two indirect damage to discard this card. And this has one boost icon, so an annoying card. Then we have air static, there is only one copy of this in the encounter set. So air static is an environment, condition, forced interrupt. When the villain phase begins, deal two indirect damage to each player with the uh, energy resource in their hand and or on a card they control. Hero action choose to either discard a card from to control with a printed uh, energy resource or take two indirect damage to discard this card. Lastly, we have a zap. There are two copies of the Zap in this counter set. It is a threat series. When revealed, take indirect damage equal to the no total number of um, energy resources in your hand. If your identity, identity was dealt one or fewer damage this way, this card can surge. And this has one boost icon on it. So, it looks like a really nasty um, encounter set and I will probably will try be trying this out while testing out Iron Heart to see how that plays. So that was the Iron Heart Hero Pack and the Encounter set that came in it. Looking like a really interesting hero to play. I'm really looking forward to see how the armor uh, upgrading functions. I'm just hoping we might see a um, new Iron Man hero pack someday with the same ability to upgrade the um, armor to higher mark versions that we got in the core box but we'll see probably not soon but maybe one day so hope you guys like this uh, hero pack focus and got some 
uh, good ideas on how the deck functions and what cards come in it. Thanks for watching and until next time.